Windows 11 was released the 5th October. If you like me would like to know the path how to upgrade your Windows 10 devices to Windows 11 in a Intune only environment with Azure AD devices then follow along. So as you might have experienced, nothing have happened to your devices if they are managed. So if you follow Aria uh, updated on Twitter, you also see her writing about that nothing is going to happen. Your devices will not automatically upgrade if they are managed. So what we need to do is to create a feature update policy and for the feature update policy to actually work, we need to have some prerequisites in place. So in this video, I'll show you how to do this. Before we do anything, we need to go to the docs. So if we go to the prerequisites of Windows 10 feature updates, we'll see that we need a certain license for this to work. We'll also see that our device must run version Windows 10 uh, or 11 and remain in support. We need to be enrolled into Intune and MDM and be hybrid joint or Azure AD joint. We need to have telemetry turned on uh, with a minimum setting. We also need the Microsoft account signing assistant to be able to run so it shouldn't be disabled. And last, we need to have one of the following editions of Windows. So one thing that is not supported is the Windows 10 or 11 Enterprise LTSC versions because they are not supported on Windows Update for Business. So the docs are pretty clear what needs to be done. So before we do anything, we could uh, leverage the 11, Windows 11 readiness report. So let's have a dive in and see what that can deliver for us. In Microsoft Intune, we have Endpoint Analytics. And in Endpoint Analytics, we can, if we have onboarded our devices, see if our device is ready for Windows 11 or not. We are giving the reason why. And we also see if the upgrade has happened already. And sometimes when the report is not ready, we get the unknown state. But that can simply be because we don't have enough data for this to be determined. So quite nice that we have a report that is just built in. It's very easy to get your overview and you can just export it to Excel or CSV file and uh, then uh, give it to whoever could be interested and see how many devices are actually eligible for Windows 11 in your organization. Now it's time for us to make sure our environment actually fits what's in the docs. And the first thing we will start with is the telemetry data. To create the telemetry, we go into devices, windows and configuration profiles. Then we create a profile and it's a Windows 10 and later and a settings catalog. We want to give it a proper naming standard here, Windows 10 slash 11 and a dash and telemetry. And if it's devices or users, we're going to deploy this one. This is going to devices, add settings, search for the thing that you like to set in this regard, telemetry, go to the system and tick the one for the device. So allow telemetry, and we can see that is connected user experience, telemetry component settings, malicious software removal tool, etc. We set that to full, and then we simply click next. We add all our devices, click next, no scope tagging, and create. So setting up telemetry with the, the new settings catalog, that is straightforward, very easy. So next up is to find out if the operating system on our device is actually supported. Then we want to check our device. We click into this Dell, which is a physical device. 
click on the hardware and we copy the operating system version. Then we go to Google and we search for Windows 10 support systems. We press Control F and put our build number in and we can see that end of service on this version is fine. And as you saw, our device is supported. So next up is to find out if our device is Intune managed and either hybrid Azure AD joint or just Azure AD joint. And we want to check our device. Is it both Intune managed and Azure AD joint or hybrid Azure AD joint? We go into the portal of Azure and into devices search for our device and we can see that it's Azure AD joint and the MDM is Microsoft Intune. All our prerequisites are met, so now it's actually time to go in and configure what needs to be configured. So let's dive into the system. First we will go into the groups and we will create a Azure AD group for the policies to be assigned to. We, I already cheated and created MEM Windows 11 upgrades. Then we go into Windows and our update rings. And as you can see, we have two standard rings here. We have one default and we have one to upgrade with 11 devices. If we click into the default one and go to properties, we see that feature update deferral period has been set to 10. If you go to the docs, you would see that the feature update deferral period must set must be set to zero. Otherwise, the feature update will not be honored. So we need to copy this one and make a similar Windows update ring for our devices to actually get quality updates, etc. So we create or copy the default one and create a feature update deferral period to zero. And if we go into the default one and look at the assignment, you can see that in the excluded groups, we have MEM Windows 11 upgrade. And that is because when we put a device into this group, we want it to be excluded from the default one. And then we have the included groups that are all devices. So this is the setup we need to do in order to not have a conflict for these two update rings. If we go back to the winners 10 ring upgrade to 11, we can see that it has been assigned to the MEM Windows 11 upgrade. So this makes sure that Windows 11 devices will get quality updates, etc. And our current Windows 10 devices will keep the schedule for quality updates. Then we go into the feature updates and here we create a policy or I cheated again and uh, create an upgrade 11 policy and this is the policy that will make sure our device will switch to Windows 11. If we go into assignments we can see that it's uh, been assigned to MEM Windows 11 upgrade so that's perfect. We have configured the feature update, we have configured the Windows 10 and later rings so everything fine there. So now we can go into the reports and we just need to put our device in the correct Azure AD group and then it should automatically upgrade. Let's see how that works. We go into Windows Updates, Reports, Windows Feature Updates and we select a profile. We generate the data and what we will see, I have one device that has already successfully upgraded. You can see the update substate and we can see when it last scanned. And then we have our Dell device that has not yet upgraded, 
but the update state is in offering. So if we go into the update ring, let's go and see on the default Windows 10 ring. Go into the device status and we see our Dell device here. So this was the one with the feature update deferral set to 10. Now we go into the groups and to the MEM Windows 11 upgrade and Let's see here, we don't have our Dell device, so it actually makes sense that uh, the default Windows 10 ring is assigned to this Dell device. So we add it and we refresh the site and see our Dell device gets into the group. And then we go back to the Dell device and go to the device configuration just to be sure that this new Windows update ring will apply for our device. It takes some time. So, yes, our new upgrade to Windows 11, Windows 10 or later ring has applied to our device. So now our feature update deferral should be set to zero, which will honor our feature update policy. Let's just be sure and go back to the update ring. And let's go into the default one and check up on the device status. And you can see there are no more Dell in here. And if we go into the Windows 11 upgrade Windows 10 ring, which is not an upgrade, we'll see the Dell is in here. Perfect. So we've done and configured what we can in Microsoft Intune and for our devices in this environment. So now it's just time to, to wait and put devices into that Azure AD group and see our devices upgrade in a very controlled manner. I uh, recorded the uh, Windows 11 upgrades and from when I pushed reboot to I was logged into the desktop, it took only eight minutes. So I've speeded up that process for you to be able to see it very uh, compressed. And uh, I think it's super awesome that Microsoft can really upgrade your device that fast. I hope you learned something from this content and please subscribe to the channel and see you next time.